This is Czech Republic. Not Czechoslovakia, but Czech Republic. Maybe let's start with a history lesson. Czechs came to our country in 6th century. According to our legends, the grandfather of all Czechs was Grandfather Czech. After a long journey, he decided to settle. And that's why we are here. In 10th century, we were ruled by the current patron saint of our country, Saint Wenceslas. Yes, that's the guy from the Christmas Carol. Except that no one knows the Carol here. In the end of 11th century, we had the very first Czech king called Vratislav II. His title wasn't inherited yet, so the history of Czech kingdom starts in the end of 12th century by King Przemysl Otokar I. During the reign of his grandson, Przemysl Otokar II, our kingdom used to be much bigger. That's called good marriage politics. The best king in marriage politics was King Charles IV. He managed to have four wives during his life, not at the same time though. Charles IV is the guy after whom are named half a dozen sites, such as Charles Bridge, Charles University, Charles Square, Karlstein Castle, Karlovy Vary, and many others. By most of Czechs, he's considered to be the best king we ever had. Czech kings died out with Jiří Spoděbrat. In fact, that was the very first guy who came up with an idea of medieval version of EU. He was thinking probably too much ahead, because it took almost six centuries before other states of Europe realized that might be a good idea. Between years 1471 to 1526, we were reigned by the Polish royal family called Jagiellons. We liked them, because they reigned from Prague. But after Ludwig of Jagiellons drowned in a swamp after a retreat from a battle, we elected the Habsburgs of Austria to our throne, and we did not like them, because they decided to live in a Vienna. Some of them were real smart, some of them were a bit extravagant, like Rudolf II, whose portrait was made out of various fruits and vegetables. Cause who doesn't like to see his face made out of veggies? We were part of Austro-Hungarian Empire between years 1526 to 1918, when the whole empire after the World War I collapsed. And we became Czechoslovakia, small but rich country known for its weapons and, of course, beer. In year 1938, Czechoslovakia has been betrayed by its allies in Munich, forcing us to give up so-called Sudetenland to Hitler with the promise that that's all he's going to take. Well, he didn't keep his word. On 15th of March 1939, he rolled into Czechoslovakia and we've been occupied till the end of World War II. Because most of our country was, from a political reason, liberated by the Red Army, we ended up being part of Soviet Union after a communist takeover in year 1948. Communist regime collapsed in year 1989 after a Velvet Revolution and we became a free democratic country once again. The first president was Václav Havel. The ones who came after uh, are just not worth mentioning. Between years 1991 to 92, Czechoslovakia was a federation. However, due to unending problems between Czech and Slovak politicians, both countries decided to split by January 1st, 1993. Western media titled it a Velvet Divorce. Now, let's get back to the rest of our story. The size of Czech Republic is 78,866 square kilometers, which makes us a bit bigger than Ireland and pretty much the size of South Carolina. The entire population of Czech Republic is about 10.5 million people, which is like New York and Chicago without the outskirts. This is Prague, the capital of Czech Republic. It has around 1.6 million people and is listed as a UNESCO site. But it's not the only one. Czech Republic has currently 12 listings in total. The official currency is Czech Koruna. As a part of EU, which we joined in 2004, we accepted euros but keep our own currency. We just love our banknotes with some cool people from our history. We also joined NATO in year 1999. So is there anything else you should know? First, beer. Czechs have the biggest consumption of beer per capita. Consuming 147 liters a year means that an average Czech drinks one half liter beer a day. Who wouldn't? when beer in every Czech restaurant is still cheaper than water. Girls. Czech girls are considered to be one of the most beautiful in the world. Not sure about that? Just walk through the streets of Prague some afternoon and you'll see. Inventions. Some of the world's most interesting inventions came from Czech inventors. Anyone using contact lenses? Well, they were invented by Otto Wichterle in year 1963. Ever sailed on a boat? The propeller was invented by Josef Russell in year 1827, although he didn't receive much recognition for that during his life. What about sweetening up your life? Did you know that it was a Czech company that invented the sugar cube? 
The idea came from Mr. Jakub Krzysztof Rat, whose wife chopped herself when she was cutting a piece of sugar from a sugar loaf. And being a good husband, he came up with a solution so she wouldn't cut herself again. Sweet. So that's Czech Republic. Come and visit. We'll be happy to share more from our fascinating history and culture. <laughs>